The children's pool in La Jolla, California boasts one of the first ramps to the high water mark for the disabled on a beach in the state of California. This ramp provided access to the disabled, to children, to the elderly for generations and decades. Decades later, this is what the ramp looks like today. The gate is locked. The city has not maintained the ramp. And as you can see, children want in at Children's Pool. Now we don't have so much. Coming down the stairs with a wheelchair swimmer is very difficult and entirely unnecessary. All the city would have to do is simply unlock a gate and this man could have rolled on through. The transition from the wheelchair into the water is very easy at the children's pool because the breakwater provides protection from the surf and actually makes a pool instead of the surf. There are no obstacles at the children's pool like there are, for example, at La Jolla Shores where one must fight the waves and the surf and the surge and the kayaks and the boogie boards, etc. An amputee is able to go into calm water. Another disabled woman does water therapy. An amputee should have the dignity of a ramp. Exiting the pool is also easy. Jack feels that with a reasonable accommodation of a surface over the sand, he could do this by himself. <laughs> wow. Leaving the children's therapy pool is difficult as it is very hard to carry a wheelchair swimmer up two flights of steps. Remember, this ramp is grandfathered in as it was built prior to the creation of ADA law. The children's pool was especially designed and built for those handicapped in life's game and could be the best ADA ocean swimming pool in the United States and especially serving our wounded warriors. Well, you know, the beautiful swim, the, the, the water out there is so clear and wonderful, and the, the sea life, it, it's just wonderful. It's just a great sw swimming spot for everybody. This is a quadriplegic scuba diver who is able to do this sport only because of the children's pool breakwater protects him from the surf. Why make this gentleman's life more difficult for no good reason? This ramp was open for about 65 years or more. Why close it? The disabled are no longer welcome? Experienced lifeguards train swimmers to maneuver the worst riptide in Southern California at Shell Beach adjacent to the children's pool. I had to go out and help some people. When we brought them in, the main current moved us and I could feel the movement from the water coming over that reef and it eddied us right into the children's pool area. And so instead of sticking with the original plan and coming in at Shell Beach, the way we brought in those last few tired swimmers, it just was easier to move into the children's pool. So it is an excellent place to bring people in because it's protected from the surf by that big wall that uh, that Scripps built in order to protect that that area. If the safe harbor of children's pool is closed for any time of year, people are in danger of drowning. Years ago, during a seal politics closure, a drowning was reported during lobster season in the rip at Shell. This year's closure caused several close calls. <laughs>